Hello and welcome back to the channel where today we're outside, not inside a uh, cosy sim rig. Uh, today we're doing something fun. We are going to Hanuk, 24 hours of Dubai to go check out some actual car racing, uh, which should be fun. There's loads of cool racing on today. So let's get down to the Autodrome and have a look what's going on. Just arrived at the Dubai Autodrome. So we've got some time before the grid walk. The grid walk's at two. It is now 11.45. Got Formula Regional or F4, can't remember. Clio Cup has just happened. So we're gonna grab a coffee and then have a look inside at the new Apex Garden that they've added for spectators this year at the 24th. But first, coffee time. So one of the really cool things that we get to do this year that I don't think we got to do last year is that this year there is a grid walk right before the start at 2 p.m. So we'll be yet to get down on the grid, do a Martin Brundle style grid walk where we get to get real close to the cars and have a look at everyone getting ready for the 24 hour race. Super excited for that because that's as close as you can get without actually, you know, getting in the car and driving them. But as much as I'd love to do that, nobody is going to let me get in a car and drive it, so the grid walk will have to do. So I'm gonna head on into the Autodrome and see how busy it is and see what's going on at the moment. So, Autodrome, let's go. So, here in the Dubai Autodrome, just as I think the Clio Cup has finished, because they're doing the interviews up on the stage, the good thing about the grandstand here is that you are, sorry, I've walked upstairs and I'm instantly out of breath, uh, is that you can see straight across the, the podium and you can see onto the start finish straight. And right now I can see all the teams moving the tires and everything onto the track. So just gonna walk up these stairs into the grandstand and have a look what we can see at the moment. Hopefully there'll be some cool stuff going on there. Bit of a breezy day today. Looks like we've arrived just in time for Formula Regional or F4. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to look at the schedule. I think it's Formula Regional, but we've got a great seat right at the front and I can see all the cars lining up on the start line. It looks like we're gonna be here just in time to see the start of the race. So just while the Clio Cup podium is going on, um, this has been a really cool series to have going on in uh, the Middle East, well just Abu Dhabi and Dubai. And uh, shout out to Yashish, uh, who has been driving his first season in the Clio Cup, uh, a sim racer turned actual racing driver, which is awesome, awesome to see. That kid is lightning quick on the sim racing, and he actually won the race yesterday, so he's clearly lightning quick on the track as well, something that I don't think I could do. So hats off to him. It's always great to see sim racers moving from the virtual world to the real life track. This is an absolutely massive field. I think 36 cars are taking part in this race today. So this is going to be a awesome, awesome race. So that's F4 done. Um, not underwhelming, but two safety cars kind of stifled what, what could have been quite an interesting race. So most of the race was set behind the safety car, which isn't the most interesting sort of race to watch. So we've got about an hour so we can get onto the grid to do the grid walk. So we're gonna go check out the new Apex Garden, Let's see what that's like. New for this year. Uh, last year we came to this race and the closest you could get up here was just a big 
bit of sand and everything and this year they've turned it into a bit more of a place for spectators to come and watch and enjoy the race and it's really really nice you get super super close to the track like the track is just there and you can get really close to seeing the cars go by plus a bunch of food options compared to last year where the food was sort of like just to the front and then not in a great great position whereas this year they've got this great open space the weather's nice and you know it's nice to see them upgrading the the user experience for this race to get more people to come because you know more people coming means more great motorsport things in the uae so let's have a wander around and see what is on offer it's small but again i i'm not going to knock it it's it's great to to actually have it and it's nice to have some grass to sit down in a tv to watch everything so um let's go see what's on offer So you can see there's quite a few options this year in terms of food, beverage, and just a nice place to sit and watch the race. And I'll definitely be back down there to, uh, to really get close to cars and get some cool shots of uh, the race once it's kicked off. Next thing I wanted to do, because we've still got about an hour till the grid walk, is I wanted to see if I could go down to the Cars Cafe because it's Audi week for them and they have the Audi e-tron Dakar car over in their cafe just sat there. So I wonder if we can walk down, we're going to just try and walk down there and see what happens. Because uh, I really want to pop in, I've always wanted, I've wanted to go for a while, it's just a bit out of the way for me. But I really want to pop down and see if I could have a peek inside and look at the absolute monster electric vehicle that's running the Dakar. I do love this event because you can, I mean last year we got, um, did get access into the pit lane through some, uh, uh, Carolina, a friend of ours whose dad is a photographer for the series. Didn't manage to get that this year, and last year I didn't take a camera. So uh, I missed out on the good stuff, but yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can get into the Cars Cafe, and if we can, I might grab myself, I know, another coffee, but um, have a sit down in some nice AC, because despite it being really cold the last couple of days in Dubai, today is bloody warm. Private Audi event. I'm not quite sure. Uh, it definitely felt like I shouldn't have been there. It was lots of people with lanyards around their neck and Audi racing t-shirts on. But as you'll see in the footage, um, I did manage to sneak in there and see the the e-tron. Uh, that's all I wanted to see. I wasn't gonna, you know, annoy anyone. But yeah, no, there was a sort of motorsport, not motorsport, but like car influencers and all that kind of jazz in there. So. I definitely wasn't supposed to be in there, but you know, just walk in places and, and look like you should be in there, and then uh, then you usually get away with it. But that car, I've, that's the first time I've seen the e-tron up close. My God, I know I'm at a GT3 race. Uh, we're talking about rally, but my God, that car is so incredibly cool. It oh, just cool. I'd love to have a ride in that one day. I've been in a, a T1 before, and it was phenomenal. So it'd be nice to have a go in that e-tron, but I'm gonna go grab a uh, quick drink and then it'll be about time to head on back over the other side of the track for the grid walk. So you might not be able to hear me because the uh, sound of the commentary is still going, but uh, we're, we're setting up waiting for the grid walk, unfortunately. Um, nobody seems to know where it's actually happening. People are sort of just amassing in one location, hoping it's there, but we've asked members of staff and um, nobody really knows where it's happening. So we're gonna just kind of queue up with the rest of the people and hope that that's, uh, that's exactly where it's gonna be, right? So let's uh, look at all the people down here waiting to go on the grid wall. Something's going on, people are moving. We'll follow the crowd, we'll see what happens. cars that are slowly slowly starting to arrive on the grid right <laughs> no warning gates are open 
Mad rush of people, but uh, yeah, we're getting to do this grid walk. It is a little bit busy and a little bit chaos, but looks like we'll be getting to go on to the grid. This is awesome that this is a free ticketed event that you can come and do a walk on a motorsports grid and share the grid with some of the greatest people to ever do it. I mean, Valentino Rossi's on this grid. It's the greatest ever motorcycle rider in the history of motor, MotoGP. So we've got 15 minutes on the grid. This may be, I've been to F1 races, I've done this race before. You know, I got to do some cool rally stuff. This is maybe one of the coolest experiences that I've ever got to do in motorsport. This is amazing. We're on the grid. Literally, just on the grid. Like, GT3 Audi R8 there. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. Hats off to uh, the 24 hour series. Hats off to the Dubai Autodrome for letting the fans get to do this. This is so cool. This is the pit straight of the Dubai Autodrome. This, and look how close, look how close I can get. That is the Abu Dhabi Racing Mercedes AMG GT3. I mean, motorsports heaven, isn't it? This is motorsports heaven. Geeky little sim racer. I want to try and see if I can get a little quick zoom in on one of the BMWs to have a look if they've got the Fanatec rim. BMW coming up here, let's see. I'm just gonna have a look inside. Oh, the Fanatec rim is in there. It looks unbelievable. You're gonna see how close I can get. I really wanna have a peer inside to see if have a look how good that rim looks inside the car as well as on the sim. Where has that, there's that BMW. Right, I'm gonna try and zoom in on this BMW rim so you can see it. It's unbelievable. All right, I, <laughs> I tried to get a shot. It was very, very difficult to shoot because as I was shooting the car, I didn't realize that it was a Dries Van Thor's car. <laughs> and everyone is uh, crowded around it to try and see inside. So this weekend, we've had a a sim racer race on the track. We've got a sim racing wheel on one of the cars racing. If you want to see something extra, 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 extra cool, Valentino Rossi just hanging out. That is incredible. How cool is that? What a lovely guy as well to just hang around. Here we go. Awesome. We've made it back towards the Porsche Cup cars, the car that I'm very familiar with in iRacing, very familiar at crashing the car. Um, fab to see these in person, like after seeing them and driving hours and hours and hours of them in the simulator and on iRacing. Uh, it's awesome to see these cars on the track in person and literally be like a couple of feet away from them. Uh, coming up on the Dragon Racing uh, team photo actually. <laughs> TC cars are all the way back down the grid. These are absolutely enormous grids for these 24 hour race. Enormous amount of cars that they're gonna be running on the track at all times. And everyone loves a 24 hour race because we go from this 24 hour race to in about two weeks, it's Daytona. Here we go, back at the TC cars. I love these Audis. I love these touring cars. Really cool cars. It's a GTI. God, there's a Golf over here and I want to come see it. Have a look at the Golf over here. Uh, right at the back of the grid. Fantastic to go on this track that I've driven like countless hours in the simulator. Gone off on this corner more times than I can account for, but 
I've put so many hours in the sim on this track and to be stood on here as well. Fantastic. I, I'm, I keep saying fantastic and I keep saying what an experience because as a motorsports fan, this is the dream. Well, that was an incredible experience that we got to do that. Very, very, very cool as a massive motorsports fan to be able to look around and still kind of getting away with looking around, but got to manage to see all of the classes that I wanted to see, all the cars that I wanted to see, and we even managed to get a peek at Valentino Rossi. So I would say a very, very successful grid walk. Right, seats in the grandstand are quiet. It is nice and busy, which is awesome to see uh, people supporting motorsport over here in the UAE. But we are about to get the cars going for the formation lap and then we will be racing. It is racing at the time, 24 hours on the clock. Let's get comfortable because I don't know how long we're going to be here for. Uh, but yes, it is a racing time. Hopefully, this is going to be a good one. Let's see. So, the race is up and running. We're going to head over to the Apex Hill because it's some absolutely great views of the track. Hopefully, get some nice, funky B roll for you to look at. If not, maybe just take some nice pictures. Uh, maybe get another beverage because people tend to forget especially like this race you're doing a lot of walking back and forth to get good views of the track and I've been here for about four hours now once again it's so good to see this many people at this race um, there was nowhere near this many people last year it's great to see people coming to an event like this supporting motorsport in the UAE you know it's not just a country that has an F1 track in Abu Dhabi we've also got great car racing like this so let's see what we can see it is a bit loud around here just had a massive massive accident for one of the Porsche Cup cars caused another car to spin so we're gonna go see down if we can catch it coming around uh, in limp mode let's see Just as I was thinking that I was gonna take a break, go get some food and you know, cheese and everything, one of the cult cars had a massive, massive incident. Um, the radiators hanging out the front of the car, not that many TCE and GT4 cars. Um, so when you're passing traffic, it's mostly GT3 cars and cup cars, which means that there's not that many slower cars for you to get stuck behind. Uh, so it's just gonna be like 24 hours of straight battling for the GT cars. So uh, we'll see what happens after this uh, Code 60. While we're sat in a Code 60, let's talk about what uh, Code 60 is. So it's a enforcement put on by race control when there is a accident in a 24 hour race. It's a bit like a safety car in F1. The cars are restricted to go down to 60 kilometers an hour so that everything on the track can be cleared up and that no one causes any accidents without having everyone come into the pits uh, such would you have with like a uh, red flag or something. So these can go on for a while. We're currently seeing it about 20 minutes. Hopefully this Code 60 gets cleared up so we can get racing again because now we're just sitting around doing not much. Another little bit of uh, information tidbit for you that you've got to think about while the Code 60 is happening. Your pro drivers, depending on how much, how many you have, um, are only allowed to do 50% of the race. So if you've got your pro driver in now, He's wasting his time driving very slowly around a track when he could be racing at full speed. So uh, something to think about for endurance teams there. And another little bit of information for you just to think about while we're uh, waiting for the racing to get started again. Um, I'll try and keep you updated with some more fun tidbits of information. Not only is there obviously racing to be seen and watched and do at the 24 hour there are also shops this is like a like a business park or a retail park and these guys are open all year but it's a good chance to come down and see some of the stuff that these guys have 
available because uh, it's all cool as a motorsport fan. Um, I'm going to go take a look at GP Extreme or GPX store. Uh, followed them on Instagram for a while. Uh, they've got a great selection of cars out the front and inside the store they have the most amazing collection of memorabilia you have ever seen from signed race-worn helmets to chassis of cars to race-worn suits to signed posters anything you could want from a as a motorsports fan they probably have it it's a little bit loud outside here so let's go take a look inside Here, we've got race war suits from every driver you can imagine. Every F1 driver over here, up, up here, <laughs> the Caterham F1 car. Um, honestly, incredible, incredible stuff. Race worn suits, all Porsches, really, really, really cool stuff. Um, and they even, if you look behind me, can't see that behind me, but they have a simulator in here as well. Um, but yeah, just the incredible amount of suits and racing paraphernalia that they have in here is unbelievable. Probably one of the cooler shops that I've ever been in. It's especially cool to have something like that uh, here in Dubai. I actually went to get a shirt, but they didn't have my size, which is really annoying because I really wanted that shirt. And the good thing is when you walk past back here right there is the fueling station for the cars of the 24 hour two very cool things about watching the uh, the refueling of the cars especially on the uh, 992 cup car is one I now know where the fueling port on a 992 is and it's right on the bonnet at the front which is very very cool. Second awesome thing is listening to that 992 pull away makes you realise how good the sounds in iRacing are because listening to that car pull away is exactly the same sounds that I would hear in iRacing when I'm racing the cup car. Now look, I know there's a myriad of other differences when it comes to um, iRacing and real racing, obviously, but it's so cool to get so close to these cars that I race so much on the simulator and see what they're like in the real life. And obviously my experience in the simulator is nothing like what these guys are going through on the track. Interesting in between the uh, correlation between the simulator and the real life track as well. Uh, so we're gonna head up back to the Apex Garden and then sort of figure out what we want to do for the rest of the day. We are at about 20 to 6 so in about 20 minutes we would have been about three hours into the race. I mean I got here at 11. I've been here for about six hours. Um, I am exhausted. I'm really really tired but I've had such an amazing uh, time here at 24 hours. I'd love to come back. If I have time, maybe come back tomorrow. I don't know how late I'm gonna stay. Um, I might go get food and then come back for a little bit. It's also really cool because as you're walking down from the retail side down to the Apex Garden, all of the uh, Formula cars are being packed up back into their shipping containers. So you get to see the ins and outs of how a team works on packing away a Formula car after a race and what they do with it and watching them move it down the road on the skates and pushing it and just a cool peek behind the curtain that like there's only a select few of us nerdy motorsports fans that would really really find that enjoyable <laughs> I do I really like watching them put the cars into the container and everything we're moving into the nighttime portion of the race uh, two weeks time we have the 12 hours of Dubai the Asian Le Mans series which should be also super fun because there's LMP2 cars in um, LMP3 or LMP2, I can't remember. We're also involved in that. And that will be especially exciting because I've never seen those cars on the track before. We're at a code 60 at the moment. There must have been an incident that I missed, obviously. Walking around the track, you're not completely up to date with what's going on. So let's, uh, let's just have a seat and a little rest for a bit and see 
when the race kicks off again. I've sat down to uh, take a break because, as the cars go past here, um, it's another Code 60 because there's been a massive oil spill uh, on the track from an accident uh, from, we think, a Porsche. But it sounds about right, doesn't it? Uh, I'd be more on brand if it was a BMW driver, but so I'm just taking a seat while we wait for the race. This could be a very extended um, Code 60 because of the amount that they have to clean up and the amount of oil that they have to pick up. So I don't know how long we're actually going to be waiting for racing to get going again. Uh, it could be quite a while and that could be my call to uh, call it for today. As I see the trusty old Golf, there is one uh, TCR Golf going around and it's had a load of issues it keeps ending up in the pit lane but it is still going and that is my favorite car out of all of it forget valentino rossi forget the cool Abu Dhabi racing forget the cup cars <laughs> that singular golf that's going around is my uh, new favorite um car in the 24 hours but yeah we're at about almost six o'clock uh, and we're still waiting for racing to get going so uh, we'll have to have a think about what we want to do like i've said about a million times today in every single video clip it's really good to see how many people are coming down to races like this um so i will let you know when racing gets going and what the plan is following all this so see you later just gone uh, six o'clock as you can see I'm a little bit sunburnt <laughs> from big hair I've been here since about 11 o'clock so I think I'm calling it now I'm gonna tap out I'm a little bit worn out uh, from all the excitement today uh, so Dubai 24 hour you have been wonderful maybe I'll come back tomorrow morning but if not that'll be the end of this video I might do an intro an outro whatever needs doing um but if you've not ever been to this race you've never been to endurance racing and you live in dubai this event is free to come to i employ you if you love racing come down and check this out it is a fantastic experience for motorsports fans but for me at the dubai 24 that's going to be it for me now so i'm going to go find a taxi and try and get home see you later